Being back in New York for tonight's show is really magical because I used to live in New York. I met some of the best friends in my life in New York. I fell in love in New York. And I actually had my first sold out show as a new artist in New York. So to be back here tonight, it just all feels full circle. I need them dancing like last night. Oh man. <laughs> Every time I've ever played BB Kings, it's always been standing room. And then the boots are the boots. It's never been tables. And like in rooms like this, why I love doing rooms like this is because you can actually literally see everyone's face. And I like to see them standing and I like to see them all facing the same direction and I like all the energy to be going in one direction. So to come in and see these chairs is like a bit of a buzzkill to be honest. But it's fine. Music will be the energy tonight. I'm so thankful for this place that I am in my life. You know, my, my duties have increased. I'm a mom now, and I always have to make sure that I fit that part of my life into my everyday life, even when I'm away from him, even when I'm working. And, you know, he's the motivation. He's the reason why I'm out here working as hard as I am now. Um, it feels good to do it for someone else and not myself anymore. It's been a while since I put out an album. So to see that these songs that I was singing in 2009 and then released on my second album in 2012, now being 2018, everybody's singing these songs word for word, singing them so loudly that I don't even have to sing certain parts because they're singing them to me. It's just like, it's the best. It's just like such an amazing feeling. It feels, um, it's an honor. It's an honor to create something, sing something, perform something, leave something that lasts the test of time. So, you know, even when I'm gone, hopefully there'll still be people singing it. Do you see that somebody made this for me? She made this? I have the most thoughtful fans, I really do. They bring book, they brought, one of my fans in Oakland brought her favorite childhood book for Cameron. Oh. I know. Hi, Melanie Fiona. I'm a fan. I love your music, and right now it's getting me through a tough time. 4 a.m. Okay, I can't just sing it. I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> let him, let him, let him. Yeah, I don't know what's going on early. It's totally up to you. Uh, yeah, let's go on and we'll keep it at 10. So, before a show, what do I like to do? Um, I burn incense, um, I do some vocal warm ups, uh, I take a sip of something caffeinated <laughs> because truth be told a little bit of caffeine helps these vocal cords the adrenaline blood get gets going to them um, and then I always have a moment with the team and the squad band management and we have a moment of gratitude and prayer um, to just set the tone and the vibe and, and energy and just never lose sight as to why we do what we do. Just do not take that for granted. We just ask you this in the utmost of gratitude now, forever, and always. Amen. Amen. Man, can I get you guys a stage? Have fun! Sold out show, guys.